got me so excited, so it doesn't matter. Hey, what is up, you guys? It is Tyler. Welcome back, back, back to the Tyler Williams channel. And it is currently January 1st, uh, 6 a.m. I am a few hours away from my flight to Japan. Uh, this is going to be the first video of the vlog I'm going to be doing of uh, my trip to Japan. I'm so excited right now. I just got up a few hours ago. Um, my flight leaves at 9 a.m., I believe. So... I'm about to eat something and then I am going to get ready, get dressed, and I'm going to be heading out very soon. Alright guys, so I just landed in Chicago. And we are about to be on our way to my terminal, so that way I can go to the airport. Well, I'm already at the airport, I meant to say. I'm on my way to my terminal, so that way I can hop on a flight to Narita. So, I'm pretty excited. I'm not excited about the 13 hour flight, but I'm really excited to, you know, go on to Tokyo. We're gonna be there in 13 hours. When I land, it'll be 4 p.m. their time, but where I'm from, which I live on Eastern Time, I live in Philadelphia, it's going to be like 2 a.m. So, that's really cool. Let's not fall. Okay, cut our balance. All right, I'm gonna put my phone. I'm currently looking at all the movies that uh, are on this Guys, thing. could you close the birds for me? I don't know how to close the Okay, so, look at this. Look at this lineup right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! What was that movie? The Big Show was in. What was it called? Knucklehead or something? Let's see if they have. Let's see if they have Knucklehead on this. That'd be all. Hey guys, so I just want to let you guys know I have landed safely at Narita Airport. So I'm really excited. I'm also really tired. So, but we're gonna go find our baggage because I'm sure it's floating around here somewhere. And then we're gonna go to the. So I just found this place at the airport about the Kabuki gates and you know Asuka and Kairi saying they're the Kabuki warriors. I feel like it's kind of kind of have to come in here. Does the hand gestures remind you guys of anybody? All right guys, so I'm outside now. I am at the still at the, still at the airport but um, now I'm outside waiting for my airport bus to get here so that way I can go to the Narita rest house and is this it? This is it? Never mind. Look at the vending machines. All right, guys. So after two hours of trying to make it over to my hotel room, I finally get in here. And I mean, like, it's it's okay. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna unload, and I guess kind of sort of try to sleep. But yeah, that's really today's vlog. I got more stuff coming tomorrow. So. See you guys there. <laughs> hey, what is up you guys? It is Tyler. Welcome back to the Tyler Lloyd channel. And I am up at like 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, and let me just say, uh, I stayed at a very, very cheap rest house in Narita. Like literally I'm still connected to the airport. Very uncomfortable the entire night. And I barely got like any sleep, which, you know, I probably should be like dead like a zombie considering I was on a flight for so long. But I figure, you know what, if I'm not going to sleep, I might as well just stay up. So that way I could go see the sunrise, the, the sunrise of the new year, you know what I mean? So this is literally the best I can do at a sunrise right now, because I don't got much of a better sight than where I'm at right now. Alright guys, so I'm about to head out, so I'm kind of sort of dressed up. You guys see the, the bone, so you guys see it going on, I got the bull club hoodie going on. So that way any wrestling fans see me, they're going to be like, oh my god, you're going to wrestle? going to be like, yeah, I'm going to wrestle.
these people are if not all these people I do know Chris Brooks is all the way back there I know who he is Anybody else not so much I figured him out today though oh my god this is so cool look at that guys so I'm back out here as you can see the Tokyo Dome is right behind me and I'm about to turn in the Cork and Hall show is still going on as I speak but like jet lag is really hitting me right now I gotta go I gotta sleep my body's asking for it got the Tokyo Dome in the background I'm so excited guys I'm gonna be there tomorrow I can't wait so I'm gonna go get a good night's rest because I don't think I can really take standing up anymore or doing anything anymore and then tomorrow I'm going to rejuvenate and I'm going to head out to the KFC Arena for Stardom Wrestle Cinderella and then back to the Tokyo Dome for Wrestle Kingdom. Today, Dark Woo! <sighs> Good morning. 
morning everyone it is tyler welcome back 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 to the tyler williams channel it is january 4th or at least in japan it's january 4th and 9 30 a.m and i'm about to head to the tokyo dome now of course the show isn't starting for a few hours but for the u.s viewers well the u.s travelers the foreigners or whatever they have to pick their tickets up at like 11 30 a.m now the conundrum i'm in right now is that i have to pick the tickets up at 11 30 but then the stardom show starts at 12 so it's i don't know how it's gonna work because at the same time it takes 30 minutes to get to the stardom show so i'm either gonna be late for one of these two i more than likely would rather be late for stardom show obviously and sad to say that but i'm probably gonna have to be late for it but i'm walking up to the tokyo dome right now we're gonna head to this gate now i'm here two hours early because i'm thinking if the line is short enough and i could get through fast enough that i could potentially get my tickets early enough to run down to wherever uh the kfc arena is and get there just in time for the start of the starting ship now of course i don't oh i see signs i see some guy with a uh I don't think that has anything to do with where I'm going. But anyway, I'm gonna head to this gate and I'm gonna see if I can pick up my tickets early. Probably not, but I'm gonna hop in the line early. See you guys then. That guy's looking too bushy. <laughs> what if that's really bushy? No, I'm just kidding, it's not bushy. All right guys, so I just ate at this place called Tully's Coffee. It's like kind of behind me for breakfast. Not too bad. I had a Belgian waffle and a honey walnut. There's a lot of honey in there and I'm a, I, I love honey, so I loved it. Anyway, so I got my coffee. Uh, it is about 10 a.m., which means that they're about to start doing tickets in about an hour and a half. So we're about to head up here to the line, which is wrapped around a certain area. I don't think it's too long now. I haven't been to this line the last 10 minutes because I was eating, so it might be longer. Hopefully not. So you guys can see, that's kind of where it starts. Now, all the way around, is where the line at the end so it's not really that long but we're gonna hop in this line right now and wait for the next hour and a half to get our tickets and then we're gonna go to the stardom show all right guys so i'm back now i just asked a guy who was standing right next to me in line he was japanese he only knew like a little bit of english i somehow managed to ask him if he can watch my jacket while i grab my headphones because i still have an hour and a half to go in line now i'm curious asked you if he fully understood what i was saying but i left my jacket so i think he knows that i asked him to watch my jacket while i grab something so we're about to head back up there we got an hour and a half long wait and the line has gotten really really long all right guys so i'm back i have acquired my ticket to wrestle kingdom 14 night one i am super excited uh we are about to head back to the hotel room real quick to put these tickets away until showtime i'm about to head to the kfc hall to see wrestle cinderella and guess what i was only in line for like four minutes now mind you guys i was in the wrong line and i was actually waiting in line that you guys saw where my place was and around like 11 o'clock these guys come up to me and they ask me for my ticket and i showed it to them and they're looking all confused and i'm like uh, i got it from the e plus website so it should be legit and they're like e plus and i'm like yes and they're like oh you're in this line over here and my heart fell because i'm like if i've been waiting in this line for two hours and i have to go to the back of a line oh i'm gonna how do you say fucking japanese I'm, so i'm like all right <laughs> calm down calm down calm down let's see what this line is so they get me to the line and actually like the line like just started like people were in the long wrong everyone else in the wrong line too so i was like 15 in line so i just got my ticket we're about to head back to this hotel put the tickets away and we're heading to ryogoku for the kfc hall show so i'll see you guys there I am currently in front of Ryugoku Hall. That's pretty awesome. How it's kind of shaped like a temple. So cool. 
I think I'm going to the annex, but I'm not too sure if we'll figure it out. So I just got done from the uh, Stardom Cinderella show. Really fun show. I enjoyed my time. <laughs> uh, what really upset me was the end because basically I put a certain amount of money in my pocket. Like, oh, I only need this much to uh, get into the show. And da, da 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 I get all the way over here, pay for the ticket. And then I realize I only brought enough money for the show and like nothing else. So when the time for the show was over, I can get any pictures merchandise anything i got to high five han on the way out so at least i got to send her off on the way to the tokyo dome i'll see her there so maybe maybe but yeah that was uh my uh trip to wrestle cinderella so i'm gonna head back to tokyo dome city get my money straight and then we're gonna head in line for the tokyo dome wrestle kingdom 14 i'm so excited let's go look at the herd of people that are crossing this bridge and you all know where they're going. Oh my god, that's so fun. There's so many people. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> One thing I noticed when I got here was that in this section I see nothing but guy jeans here. I'm almost certain that New Japan said, alright, we got these very loud 
probably rude ass foreigners. We're gonna put them all in one section so that way if you guys hear any like obnoxious chanting, it's from one side of the building where we we'll probably won't be kept like picked up on a microphone, but pretty exciting to be here, I must say. The show, the pre-show should be starting in a few minutes, but it is, it is exciting to be here. Thing away. They kind of sort of got to go away. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know we were doing it too. Kind of sort of.
Oh god, he just hit the twisty tombstone. Dropkick. Oh! Oh! Holy shit. Phoenix Flash. Oh god. I feel like he's gonna miss. Oh, he missed. I knew he was gonna miss. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah! Yeah. Abushi, knee him in the face. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, he still got risk control too. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! In Mega. Oh fuck! Just end it. Just end it. All right guys, so I just came back from, I mean, I technically I didn't just come back from Wrestle Kingdom. I just came from a bar <laughs> that I went to after Wrestle Kingdom. I believe it's called the British Pub. I went there right after that, met some cool guys. Uh, I got to talk with uh, Jamie Hayter and uh, Session Moff Martina real quickly. Uh, overall, I thought it was a really great show. I mean, Wrestle Kingdom, it was an amazing experience. Wasn't really too enthused about Ibushi losing in a main event, but when I saw Okada's entrance and Okada's gear, I'm like, yeah, uh, Ibushi's losing. I just kind of had to accept fate at that point. And then it happened. It was inevitable. I... <sighs> but nonetheless, I still enjoyed the show. Uh, Stardom was really good as well. I enjoyed that. It was just overall a really good day. So, tomorrow we are, I think it's just Wrestle Kingdom I'm doing tomorrow. No second show or anything so basically i'm gonna come here do the same thing get my ticket and then you know mess around japan and come back to tokyo dome and get the rest of kingdom again so yeah that was my day i will see you guys tomorrow Woo! hey what is up you guys it is tyler welcome back 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 to the tyler williams channel and welcome to another vlog it is january 5th which means it is the second, I'm about to say the third, the second night of Wrestle Kingdom 14. I'm making my way up to the Tokyo Dome. It is 9 a.m. We're about to get in, well, 8.30 a.m. We're about to get in line for our E Plus tickets. I'm an hour early, which is definitely a big difference from being two and a half hours early yesterday. But the difference today is there's nothing really happening after I get these tickets, so I'm not really in a hurry. If I have to wait in a longer line than yesterday, I'm really just getting these tickets and then I'm waiting for Wrestle Kingdom. So I really didn't even like get any, like wear anything different. I just do on the same clothes I had on yesterday. So that way I can get these tickets, go back, you know, take a shower, 
get some nice clothes on. I might find something else to do today. I'm not too sure. But anyway, we're about to get right back in line for Wrestle Kingdom. I'm super excited. All right, guys, so I just came back from getting my ticket. It really only took like five minutes again because I was one of the first people there. The benefits to get places early. But I also got some merch. Now, I didn't get a lot. It's about 10,000 yen worth of merch. I'm going to get some more maybe later tonight. I didn't put that much money in my pocket when I came up here. But I got myself a program. I got myself a uh, signed picture of... If I could get it open... A signed picture of Ariso Shiki. I believe Mayu Utani's on the back too. And uh, you can't see it, but it's a sign with a Mayu in there too. And then I got myself a Shotanaka towel, sports towel. So I got all of that. I might give myself some more shirts a bit later. Not too sure, depending on how much money I have left, because I know they're spending a little bit, a little bit of my money. I don't got all that much left, and I am here for like seven more days, so I gotta be a little bit more careful about my spending, but nonetheless, we're about to head back to our hotel, uh, get showered and get some different clothes on, probably get something to eat, then get ready for Wrestle Kingdom. It's happening at 3 p.m. today in Tokyo, which is midnight where I'm from. So yeah, we're gonna get ready. I'll see you guys then. Eventually. All right guys, so I am finally dressed up and ready to go. It is 11 o'clock and it already looks busy up there. It's one hour until uh, the Tokyo Domatsu opens. There's a guy dressed like Okada, Liger, and Desperado I'm looking at right now. It's a pretty good cosplay, unless it's actually them, which that would be mesmerizing. But uh, people start to line up. I'm going to go grab something to eat because I'm a little hungry. Then we're going to hop in line and then we're going to get ready for uh, night two at the Tokyo Dome. Back at the dome for night two, baby. I think I'm gonna be Arena F today, so I'm gonna be over here somewhere. Not on the floor, but I'll have a somewhat better view of everything in a sense, because when I was on the floor, when I was on the floor, you barely could see anything. So, I don't know, I think I might end up liking my Arena FC a lot better, but anyway. That's Suzuki! That's Suzuki! That's Suzuki! That's Suzuki! Alright, foreigners, don't let us down! God
push it right around to the waist. Hold it. Roll, Jericho, roll. All right, fly. He ain't about to beat him. One, two. Oh. Yeah, all right. Uh, twist the child. Yeah. Catch him again, Jericho. Catch him. Oh! Oh, he caught him. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Lightsaber. Lightsaber. Put that knee back. Make a lion tamer. Make oh. him tap. Make him tap. This is it.
Loser! Loser! guys so i just got back from um another bar so wrestle kingdom 14 great show really enjoyed it i can't really give my review of it because your boys had a few drinks and uh <laughs> i'm a little drunk right now so i just wanted to record this and let you guys know i thought it was a really great show uh met some cool guys at the bar hopefully i come across them again and yeah that's really all i can say right now because i don't want to say anything else i did a very uh a very uh, f bomb and word filled live stream already. But uh, let me start off by saying a few things. We're gonna do a roll call real quick. Kenta, Okada. Secondly, Sonata, Evil, Takagi, Bushi. Where were them niggas at? Where were they at when Naito was getting beat down? Where were they at? But nonetheless, tomorrow I uh, managed to talk to somebody who's actually going to New Year's Dash tomorrow and managed to get myself a possible ticket to the show. So I'm really excited about that. As you can tell, my voice is basically gone, but I'm making my way back to my hotel. I'm going to go to sleep and then I'm going to wake up. I'm going to edit this vlog and then I'm going to head out to Oda City for New Year's Dash. So yeah, that was it. I love you guys always and I will see you all tomorrow. Good morning everyone, it is Tyler, welcome back, back, back to the Tyler Williams channel. And it is January 6th over here in Japan, I know it's still the 5th over there in the United States, but it is January 6th. We are heading out of Tokyo Dome City and we're going to head to the city of Akiraba. We're going over to a currency exchange today because I need some more uh, money, did you boy? spending some bucks he needs some more so we're gonna go to the currency exchange take some more money out then we're gonna head to Oda City get something to eat meet some stardom ladies some nice Joshi wrestlers then we're gonna get ready for New Year Dash so my day's pretty filled up can't wait to do it let's get straight to it but you look at who I found at the train station over there. The one and only Jake White Dog. So, I just came from downstairs. I was walking into the train station, and who do I run into? But another to Jay White. He just uh, was in the store, just like looking and signing stuff and taking pictures. It was. I right, stopped talking so I can. The from track number one will be the 11:52 a.m. local train bound for Mitaka. Thank you. All right, so I break. Alright, I'm, I'm done trying to play for them. Okay, so. I <laughs>
Tokyo Cyber Squad over there. I think I got some stuff signed by them. Alright guys, so I am currently now back at Tokyo Dome City. I am just came back from Suedobashi. Also just came back from New Year's Dash. That was a really fun show. Uh, it, it, it was a lot that was going on. Also, there was not like too much eventful stuff that happened, but it was enough good wrestling on that show to say I had a lot of fun. I definitely would watch it back on New Japan World when it reaches VOD. So that basically concludes my Wrestle Kingdom vlog. This is now gonna turn into like my Tokyo vlogs. I hope you guys really enjoyed my journey to Tokyo and to Wrestle Kingdom and then New Year Dash. Uh, I know I got a lot of new subscribers within the last few days and I just wanna say thank you all. You guys are just so awesome. I hope you guys enjoy the future content that will be pump coming out very soon. Uh, speaking of new subscriber, I actually came across a fan of mine at the New Year Dash show. I was literally leaving and this guy stopped me and he shook my hand and he's like, hey, I, I, I've, I've seen your uh, work, I, I'm a fan. And I'm like, I stood there, I was like, you actually watch me? Like, it's, it's only happened like one other time when someone's actually stopped me like, hey, I actually watch your fan, I'm a fan of your, like, but like, when it actually happens, it's like, wow, someone actually watches my, and I know people watch my content. But when someone stops you on the street to tell you that they watch your content, it's different. But yeah, I just wanted to get that out. Uh, I'm about to head back to my hotel because I'm cold, I'm tired, and I got to wake up, head out, and then head to my Airbnb. So I love you guys always, and I'll see you all later. Peace out, guys.